I found another underrated Terraria mod known as the Dormant Dawn mod. This mod adds in a bunch of cool effects for weapons and reworks some of Terraria's items. It also adds in a bunch of unique bosses to fight along with some other unique and cool things worth checking out. Let's hop into the video. So we are here with the Dormant Dawn mod, a cool little content mod here that adds in a couple of weapon reworks, adds in some new bosses, items, you know how it is with little content mods. But yeah, let's get straight into it starting with a couple of the weapon reworks here. Now I believe like literally almost every weapon, okay, maybe not every weapon, but like a majority of vanilla weapons probably have a little rework with them i grabbed a couple of the cool ones let's start with the phase blade and phase saber i'm just gonna press left click and also as you can see when i move my head around the mouse or move the mouse around my head follows it cool but yeah i'm just gonna left click and look at that making me feel like a jedi let's get to it let's actually let's bring in some stronger enemies goblin thieves sure why not let's get it spinning and let's run into them nice and easy kills right there covers a lot of range this is a sick attack one thing you'll also notice with this mod is it has a lot of lighting stuff when i step on this geyser right here you know there's a little bit of extra lighting to it makes it look uh really good but yeah we got the phase saber this one has got three blades on it so let's bring in some wraiths here and let's hit them with the triple blade pretty sick i like the idea of that i don't know it just it just gives the the phase blade and phase saber more life because you know without this mod installed they're literally just swords that you swing yeah look at this i can also like swim around he's got a little swimming animation you can turn like a bunch of this stuff off in the config options so if you don't like any of this at least you get the option to turn it off but yeah next up we got the wanda sparking here let's check it out charges up got a nice little animation to it boom look at that shoots a big spark can't even call it a spark this might be like a fireball at this point it still does eh, damage i'm acting like the wanda sparking isn't the greatest early game magic weapon ever since they buffed this in 1.4 this thing is it's an underrated weapon all right next up we got the space gun i think it just has a prettier animation as we can see a lot more flash to it and i respect it after that we got a good couple of books here now i believe all the tomes from vanilla you summon them in a different way now as you can see it like comes out in front of you and you shoot it around kind of interesting so instead of you holding it in your hand you're kind of summoning it gives it more of like a magical feel to it yeah let's bring in some enemies hit them with it i mean we've seen the water bolt we know what it does it looks a lot prettier though thanks to this mod but yeah like i said pretty much all these do that some of them just they just look good they just look sexy we got the golden shower boom ready to pee on people but it's sexier the magnosphere now this is the one where things get a little crazy is the magnosphere this one might be loud whoa hey I, do i even have the book out in here i don't even have the book out in here i don't even know what it was doing over there we have magnosphere let's check it out ready get ready this, this might hurt your ears oh my god and as you can see it follows where your mouse is so this thing can actually get pretty devastating pretty dangerous on top of how loud it is we got the crystal storm which is uh you know fairly similar to how it usually is we got the book of skulls another one i think is similar it just looks cool gives a little more flavor a little bit more detail to the uh tomes next up here let me go ahead and whip out these uh staves so all the staves have been touched up a little bit uh i wouldn't say they all have unique attacks rather than they all have a unique attack and this is what happens when you fully charge it's just a big explosion happens you can still shoot it off like normal the more you charge it the bigger the beam but yeah they all have that type of attack but obviously it's going to be more powerful and bigger the better the staff is so this one takes forever to charge to 100 but when you charge it to 100 it's going to have a way bigger explosion do more damage of course boom like look at that those were hard mode enemies we just busted on next up we got the vile thorn also another one that you charge up here damn you could just shoot like a giant thorn at enemies honestly i think i like that more than the og vile thorn i was never a fan I've never been a vile thorn fan maybe the uh the upgraded versions they aren't too bad but uh og vile thorn i don't know man never used it i just think there's better weapons usually to get your hands on but as you can see it does do its old attack splits into three though and next up we got some hard mode swords here we know with 1.4.4 .4 or whatever version it is i really don't remember <laughs> you know they updated all the swords and stuff this mod also 
updates all the swords and stuff because we are playing in 1.4.3 as you can see every sword i think every sword that's like a regular sword swings like with this animation and it, it just looks so graceful it looks nice it goes great with the game i like it just it's just something about it it just feels more fluid more smooth but then we whip out the terror blade here and look at this beautiful i love the animation on this i love the attacks on it it's awesome not to mention there's a right click attack let's see the right click attack oh my god <laughs> let me see this on a boss whoa apparently the mod also does that too pretty sick didn't even know that oh critical strike we got like a whole freeze oh my god <laughs> I didn't know the mod did all this. The uh, creators of their mod, their their first language is in English, so it's kind of hard to find too much information about the mod. But like, that was sick. I didn't know that happens. What if I summon in other bosses? Oh my God, look, they all get like a little animation. Wait, let me kill him before he leaves. Oh, okay, I guess not. It's gotta be nighttime. You know what? We make it nighttime. I gotta see the death animation now. Nighttime, bring him in. I gotta kill you. I gotta see your death animation. You have piqued my interest. <gasps> He is sucked back into a hole where he came from. That is so sick. That is such a neat little detail that this mod adds in. But yeah, that was a handful of some weapon reworks here. Pretty sick. Obviously, if you play with the mod, you're going to see a lot more. Because, uh, like I said, a majority of them are probably all touched at some point. Do something cool. So make sure to install the mod. Check out everything else you want to check out on your own. But yeah, with that said, let's move on here. The mod itself has a good bit of weaponry. A good bit of weapons and items and other stuff but before we check that out let's check out some of the bosses we got some bosses we got something called a lifeguard meteor digger guardian of the stars goblin sorcerer chieftain withered acorn spirit so we got some bosses here i just gotta figure out how to spawn them in all right i installed the boss checklist mod and as you can see one of the bosses on here you actually fight was it three times sounds like an interesting concept so we need a suspicious star and other suspicious items i feel like i could have figured this out honestly let's see this one though go ahead what do we got oh my god he's coming from the underground the camera can't even keep up to him uh we got the lifeguard i get it good one the music's really quiet i hope the music isn't copyrighted it's always something scary when i hear uh music from mods but yeah this is the first fight with them so attacks seem fairly tame hey the the guy getting his shots in he got beef with you he has like a bunch of life servants around him and it seems like it just keeps getting bigger if i don't attack so let me attack and knock some of them off here uh, let me just kill him he said, GR, as the guardian of Terraria, I recognize your strength. I will release the first limit. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm not a fast reader. So I'm assuming you got to kill him to get your life cap up. Kind of an interesting concept. Switches up the gameplay a little bit. Makes it so you can't just have, you know, 400 health and fight him. Let's bring in the other one, though. Falling from the sky like a falling star. I see him. You got to come down here, though. I got I to gotta be able to see you. He's dropping a lot of stars on this. It seems like this one keeps his range until he dashes. Let's get some hits on him, though and when i say hits i probably mean insta kill him pretty much boom dead you got some dialogue for me as the guardian of terror your content i recognize your strength i released the first so he's the mana cap too okay okay so now can i just bring him in again will this be part two that's the question is this part two is there more attacks are they stronger probably yeah it looks like there's uh more attacks here we're getting a little servants flying at me the guide again getting his hits in go ahead god i will go ahead do my damage again and we get the dialogue if you're wondering why he's saying gr like that is actually the name of my character is gr <laughs> it's not like he's just like growling at me or anything a life force emerges from the earth and then we fight him one more time and this should be the last time we should be able to cap out after this and you fight him fairly early in the game so you can see like you do all this before wall flush so you don't have to worry about being capped at your health for that long all right he's got some different dialogue you beat me with my strongest state you deserve my loot shout out that boy dropped that loot we got that heart sword from him look at that oh shoot out little hearts show my love to the enemies it says true melee deals damage explodes hearts hold up like we like ripping into their chest and exploding their heart damn rest in peace yeah we'll we'll go over all the uh, drops and stuff later but let's let's let me go ahead just get rid of the star there you go third star dead dropped a little magic weapon here Ooh. 
Cool animations, man. I really like the animations in this mod. But yeah, that was the first couple of bosses. On to the next here. Let's see. Go down the list. Goblin, Sorcerer, Chieftain. So I'm assuming this dude gets added to the Goblin army after you fight the Brain. So if you somehow manage to fight, fight the army for the Brain, he's not going to be a part of it. All right, so let's kill the Goblin army here. Oh, look at the little Sorcerer attacks. They're really nice. Yeah, let's let's shred through them. I might have to bring out a weaker weapon here, just so I don't accidentally kill the boss. Influx waiver, it is. We are getting new weapons, so I, I might as well check out this new weapon. A little godly shadow book, cool. Got a little goblin bow. Hold up, I don't got any arrows. Let me get some arrows out. Let me see this in action. Okay. It's just straight up a bow. The animation's clean for it, though. A powerful force is approaching. All right, bring it. Let me take on this powerful force. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The floor is shaking. Where is he at? Where is this powerful force? Oh, it's got to be to the right. Something shooting at me. We got acorn shooting at me. Oh, there he is. Goblin Sorcerer Chieftain. He comes with the bumping music. Now, I'm not going to lie. The music is bumping. The attacks, this kind of looks hard to dodge. And with the way the fireballs look, they look a lot bigger. So this might be a tough fight right here. Let me get rid of these uh, sorcerers. They're making the fight harder. Oh, man. You know how I feel about the screen shaking. Damn, he shoots that big ball at you? How in the hell am I supposed to dodge that? All right, yeah, let's let beat his ass. Let's see what happens at the end of the fight here. He just fades away. Explosion? Death? What if I die when he does this? Oh my god. <laughs> That's an insane way to die. And look at that. He's got like two death animations. That's how cool he is. So he drops a shadow flame. He drops a little shadow necklace too. Am I supposed to use this? Am I supposed to equip this? It can be equipped magic weapon slot. So that's what this is right here. Okay. And I think we need to bind something to use our magic weapon slot. I'm assuming that's what this is. All right. I have no idea how this works. It's doing something. It's a skill after use. It will leave the magic weapon in place to attack the enemy and then use it again to return the magic weapon position. I have no idea if I'm supposed to like bind it or what oh there we go so i have to attack something is that like how i charge it up i have no idea all right let's see what this thing looks like oh yeah more screen shake this this does not look like an easy fight i'm not that fast he thinks i'm built like sonic i'm not built like that he's kind of big too that drill noise is gonna give me like ptsd but yeah he's got some cool attacks so far seems like a uh earlier damn i gotta turn them down bro <laughs> i gotta turn my boy down seems like an early game destroyer and i know it's like oh that's the eater of worlds now this boy is actually the early game destroyer right here brings in a bunch of probes let's go ahead let's start attacking now oh man they're kind of dodging my hits i gotta bring out the big boy oh oh <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. I didn't mean to kill him. He kind of just like ran into my attack. My bad. Let's run it back this time. I won't kill him on accident. Let me do some damage because it definitely looked like he had a phase two. He had something. He turned red. Maybe that was just his death animation. I like the idea of this boss. I like the theme is how he's like a digging machine. Because, you know, usually most worm bosses, their theme is pretty boring. I've seen so many worm bosses. A majority of them whack. But, you know, there, there's some that stand out as cool. And I think this one, it's a cool enough concept for it to stand out, not to be like, oh, it's a worm boss. But the attacks don't seem too crazy. This honestly seems like a hard fight, if I'm being honest. If I wasn't in god mode, I'd probably get my ass beat. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's kill him. I want to kill him above ground. Bam! So he kind of like grabs onto you, you like grab onto him or something it's like the camera latches onto him to see that death animation see i thought he like grabbed me originally so it's the camera grabbing onto him so we can see the full death animation let's do it one more time i want to see the death animation one more time it's amazing Good job, mod developers. All right, I definitely skipped the boss on accident. My bad. Because we've seen all of them but one, aka this one. Withered Acorn Spirit. And I believe this is a mini boss. There's a chance to spawn when cutting down trees in a cemetery. I like the idea. The concept sounds cool. Let's see him, though. Can I just bring him in straight up? Oh, man. They're going to make me work for it, aren't they? 
<laughs> Alright, I'm starting to think we've been lied to. This boss doesn't exist. I cut down a good bit of trees. Not every single one, but uh, I still cut down a lot. So this is a boss that you're supposed to fight early game, but who the hell knows if you'll ever see it. It, it just it won't let me spawn in it. So let's, let's pretend that I fought a scary acorn. But yeah, on to the remaining stuff in the mod here. Let's go ahead, just run through a bunch of the remaining things. Let's start with armor, I guess. So armor, we got this acorn armor, which I'm assuming we get from the boss that we cannot summon so here's what it is we got different helmets we got a head cover set bonus gives us defense whip damage uh and then this helmet gives us summon damage so it's a whip and or a summoner set whatever one you prefer and then we got this the little heartbreaker set here set bonus increase life by 20 when you attack an enemy has a chance to generate a broken heart picking up will restore your health there it is and then we got the magic armor set here not too many armor sets in this mod uh set bonus increase max summon and 25 bonus mana per 200 nice more summoner stuff not to mention there's also a meteorite helmet boom meteor helmet and obviously this goes with the meteor armor. You usually see a lot of mods adding a meteor helmet to go with meteor armor. Oh look, got a nice little fire effect following me around. But yeah, set bonus increases our max minions, gives us some more, some more goodies, you know? You love summoner stuff to get more things. But yeah, I guess let's just randomly pick and choose and see some weapons here. I do have like a summoner set of weapons, boom. Let's grab these and check this out. We got a little copper sword staff. Nice. <laughs> you ever wanted a copper sword and or a tin sword as a minion? There you go. We also have iron spike balls of both, you know, lead and iron. Cool. Bringing a little enemy for that. Go ahead and jump the slimes. What else? We got corruption staff. Whoa, we got a nice little long boy with us here. Oh, we get something in multiple. Okay, go ahead, jump the goblins. We got a blood worm. So pretty much chimeras is what it looks like, or chimeras. Uh, what do they do? Okay, they got a nice little like hesitation on their dash. We got bottle cannon and fan tower. Okay, is this a century? I'm assuming these are potentially centuries. Go ahead, do work. Nice. And what's the bottle one do? Do work. Ooh. I like the animation on it. And our last two here, we got a Meteor Fighter Controller. So we got a little, little Meteor like probe. Let's go ahead, let's see them in action. I like how they like lock onto an enemy and like fly like back and forth, you know? Got a little animation to them so they're not just sitting still and shooting. Uh, we got this one, summons a Shadow Skeleton to fight for you. Let's see it in action here. He's got an ax in his head, what is that? Go ahead, kill the Goblin Thieves, nice. Cool little summons. Always got to see my summoner love. Yeah, like I said, we're just going to grab a couple of random weapons, see what they do. And uh, that should be it for the video. All right. So one thing is we got this stuff right here, which are magic weapons. So aka the things that go in this slot. Again, don't know what some of them do. Does this one even say anything? The crown just generated. It's fully generated. Can we let out an attack? Let's see. I don't know. I'm pressing the button I have it binded to. Does it like attack when I attack with something? I'm not really understanding how the magic weapons work here. Oh! It just summoned in like the king slime from the sky. It's like a monstro's tooth from Binding Logic. So yeah, the, the magic weapons, they, they seem pretty cool. But uh, in terms of getting them to work, I don't know. It seems a little buggy like am i waiting for a charge or something like that looks like it's fully charged right so let's see what it does just like an explosion was i supposed to dash or something i don't know whoa <laughs> okay kind of cool if i can get them to work right kind of cool as you can see they don't really have any dis a description on some of them so you know i kind of just got a guess on my own here we got a voodoo doll what does this one do i'm pressing the button I'm not, I'm not getting too big of a response here, but I have been pressing the button the whole time. What? I, I don't know what this thing does. <laughs> what about this one? Okay, so this one kind of like goes to my mouse. And I just kind of, you know, just got a little aura effect around my mouse that I can use to damage enemies. And then we got another one here. What does this one do? Crash my game immediately. That might be the strongest one. All right, on to just grabbing some random weapons here. Let's grab some boss weapons. Why not? Let's grab some boss weapons. 
see what's up with them let's hope none of them crash my game we got this one i'm pretty sure i literally saw that one already so i don't know what the hell i'm doing we got a whip always love summoner stuff come on what else we got a staff here what's the staff do shoots hearts at people cool let's get some of the uh, meteor stuff oh we got a nice little meteor whip that's like a sword so like the dern doll cool we got a meteor short sword this is sick a little short sword love we got some rifles laser guns you know i gotta see these come on now let's see the rifle oh so it shoots like regular shots and then it's got like a little laser on it kind of sick we got the laser gun after firing three green lasers in a row green laser with no bullets time is fired okay go ahead let's pull out some of the uh magic ones here that you get from the mana star you do get a summon from them cool i like how it pops in and then we got the sword itself here man the animations on this mod are great shout out to them for the animations on it we got a blood staff you know what i might as well just like whip about your things out here flame staff corruption staff let's see let's see them in action let's see the blood one this one's got a little charge to it whoa what the heck it shoots a giant like an orb as you can see it sucks up some of my health to do more damage i'm assuming we got a flame staff again amazing animations i could just like use these weapons all day and just stare at the animations all right what else do we got here we got some swords let me grab the most interesting one blood butcher oh my god this is sick what else do we got here tooth of the eye nice little short sword does it have a special attack or is it just a left click okay so there's a little dash that we do eventually cool blood tooth nice little throwing weapon we got the tachi whoa this looks like what the Muramasa should be just like a lot of sick weapons in this mod i like this little flail here how uh, you charge it up and that thing goes super far that's a cool concept we got some bows here this one kind of hurts to shoot oh my arrows it says hold right click oh look at that so it's like a little little mini game you gotta play to get like the full potential where'd it go <laughs> thing vanished took it out of my hand let's try it again so do i do more damage if i land in the green or the red i have no idea let's see we did like 48 right there what if i land in the red kind of uh, a lot of things to pay attention to <laughs> Okay, seems like I did more damage when I landed in the red. Yeah, kind of hard to pay attention to looking at that bar and looking at where I was aiming. I went cross-eyed for a second. We got some cool shadow flame weapons. We got to check these out because these have to be cool as hell. Let's start with this one, the flower. Okay, fairly simple flower concept. Has a little bit of extra though with like all this stuff coming out of it we got the flame staff here so this is like the other uh, flame staff but you know a little bit more and then we got the shadow flame sword oh my god this is so cool the weapons in this mod man the animations from the weapons are so sick yeah other than <clears throat> jeez but yeah other than that you know there's still a couple more weapons i probably haven't touched but that's for you guys to check out cool mod nice little content mod I like finding a little content mods that you could just throw in to mod packs, you know, to add a little bit more content. You know, not every mod needs to be a giant content mod that covers the whole game. So it's always nice find, finding little gems like this. But yeah, the Dormant Dawn mod, shout out to everyone working on it. Though my only pet peeve with this mod, I would say, is that some of the sprites are a little bit eh. Like these armor sprites are a little bit eh. And some of the weapon sprites are a little bit eh. But a majority of them are still pretty good. And the only other thing I would say is that, you know, there's... It's really hard to find information about this mod. Like, I'm pretty sure there's no wiki or anything. And it's probably because, you know, there's not a lot of translation going on. Like I said, the developers of this mod, I, I don't believe their first language is English. Obviously, when you install the mod, it's like the description is in a different language. So, obviously, there's going to be a lot of things lost in translation. It's going to be hard to find information. Really, my only gripe with the mod. So, honestly, that I don't know. That might make it better or harder. When you find things, they're going to be new to you. And you're going to just find them naturally. But sometimes, it's always good to have a wiki or just something to give me information to help find things. But yeah, make sure you check out the mod. I'll see y'all next time.